Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a 2023 Chevy Suburban Z71. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Chevy here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this Suburban. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below where you can check out what they have currently. And if you want to order a new Chevy product with no markup over MSRP, definitely reach out to them. On a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood of this Suburban, we have a naturally aspirated 5.3 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 19 on the highway with power outputs being 355 horsepower and then 383 pound feet of torque. You can also get a 6.2 V8 if you want, or a diesel too. There's, there's lots of powertrain options with the Suburban. Now, quick disclaimer before I go over the exterior of this Suburban, this literally just got dropped off, so it hasn't been cleaned or anything like that. This happens all the time when I review cars because I need to review them before they end up leaving, and so yeah, hasn't been cleaned yet, so I don't want to hear crap in the comment section down below. Anyways, you guys can see here with the hood, notice how it's kind of like raised there on either side and then also kind of in the center, but then has little dips. I think it looks really cool overall. We've got the signature LED lights here, and then with the daytime running light, and then notice how all of the grille has been blacked out, including the Chevy bow tie. We do have a subtle Z71 badge there off to the side. We've got our red tow hooks here at the bottom. And then notice how it's been sculpted from a front end perspective to help out with the approach angle. We do have skid plates also with the Z71 package. And other than that, looks cool. So for the tire and wheel setup, it's 275, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheel design, you've got this silver there with those little pockets and then it's dark metallic gray for the rest of the wheel. Now, funny enough, this has what is described as premium smooth suspension because this is a base model Z71, so it doesn't have the Magna Ride, it doesn't have the air suspension either. And then here's a good look at the tires. You can see how just how aggressive those are. Notice the Suburban logo has been blacked out, Z71 badge as well. And then we've got the fixed side steps. And that's one of the reasons, by the way, why I wanted to review this particular one is I wanted to see what the Z71 looked like in base format with no options added because everyone that I review seems to have like every single option ever. And so here's the stance on the premium smooth ride suspension. So here is our key fob for the Z71. You guys can see we've got our unlock function, we've got our lock function, the opening here for the hatch, remote start, and then this just opens up the rear window and yeah, pretty cool looking key fob. Overall, I'll press this a couple times and the hatch will pop right open. I'll go over towing and payload capacity when we're going over the rest of the rear, by the way. Notice with the metallic plaques on either side and then storage space underneath. And then this is one of the big benefits of the Suburban is you've got quite a bit of storage space behind the third row. And I also have a full power outlet there on the side. And so definitely tons of practicality. And then if you fold the third row down, you've got even more storage space. You can also do a cargo cover here in the rear. And then when you're all done, you just have this button here at the top that you press. And boom. Now let's go over the rest of the specs. So we have 1,692 pounds of payload capacity and then 7,500 pounds of towing capacity here with this Suburban. Notice with the taillights, if you combine them together, it kind of makes the Chevy bow tie, which is pretty fun. Also says Chevrolet. And then we've got the Suburban logo down below with another Chevy bow tie. And then parking sensors here at the bottom. And we have a spare tire underneath just a regular spare and then you guys can see with the suspension independent front and rear suspension if you are wondering pretty common for this segment there's the rest of the rear so here's the door panel in the back notice the padding here and then the wood trim just up above and then more padding down below we've got one of the speakers for the bose sound system chevrolet logo and you can see the different seat adjustments nicely labeled and look at these seats. So these are the easy clean seats. That's why there's no perforations in them. So just easy to wipe off, which is great for kids. And of course we have our cup holder armrest set up there. And then notice here, more cup holders. And then we've got this for the climate controls for the rear. So they do have their own zone, a couple of USBs, and then another power outlet. You notice there's quite a bit of power outlets in this, but getting in, I'll quickly show you guys the space. And also notice we've got vents here up top which help out 
And then in terms of the rear, you can fit adults back there very comfortably. Um, that's one of the benefits about the Suburban and the Tahoe and just other SUVs in this segment is that you have a third row that's usable with adults. But notice we've got three seats back there. Sorry, the lighting back there is horrible. We've got three seats right here, so that's six. And then we've got two seats up front, so we have an eight seat configuration, which is pretty cool. Let's head to the front. Now let's go over the front door panel here at the Suburban. So. Got the nice padding here at the top and the wood trim down below and then more padding on the armrest area. And if you guys are wondering, look at that, look at that give. Anyways, all of your window controls, front two are automatic and then your adjustments for the mirrors. Another speaker for the Bose sound system, Chevrolet yet again. And then here are the front seats, they have that same easy clean design, which I really appreciate. And then we've got our power adjustments, pedal layout down below with that for the hood latch release. And then light control right here. Now so we have our drive mode select. If this had air suspension, it would be built into that button. Drive line select, so this has auto. Two wheel high, four wheel high, and then four wheel low, so it does have a two speed transfer case. We've got our parking brake right here. This is for the lane departure. That's for your stability control. Hill descent control, parking sensors. Auto stop start if you wanna turn that on or off. And then radio controls are actually on the back of the steering wheel. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Let's pop in. Here's the steering wheel for the Suburban. Really nice, soft touch all around. And then we've got the darker stitching there in the center to match the overall theme. Controls for the center, voice command, phone controls. Do have our cruise control as well. And then notice here with the stock, it's our turn signal windshield wiper stock. And also blacked out Chevy bow tie. Pretty cool looking. Now here's the center gauge cluster, full digital gauge cluster, as you can see. We can scroll through a bunch of different menus here in the center to see different bits of info here. Uh, notice like with the navigation, the music, and then just general information here on the vehicle, like fuel economy. Obviously this hasn't been driven at all. It's got like three miles, I think, on the odometer. So <laughs> yeah, none of that's gonna be accurate. Also tire pressure, pretty dang good. Usually I'm used to seeing like trucks and SUVs having like 70 PSI on the tires. So that's pretty solid. Now we do have some different drive modes we can go between. So we've got our sports, off-road, tow haul, and then our normal. And it does give you a little animation there on the side with each of the drive modes, which is definitely fun. And there you go. Now let's go over the infotainment system and the things I do for you guys. Anyways, so popping it into reverse, you can see the backup camera, what trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then also you can go into the trailer tow mode. Resolution on the camera is fantastic. Now as for the rest of the infotainment system, shortcut bar here on the side so you can just press the different functions to go different areas here on the screen pretty easy to use notice we do have android auto and apple carplay i love how it says cameras but this one just has one camera obviously you can get 360 camera system on this and other than that look we can also control the climate system here with the infotainment system that's pretty fun easy to use overall and so yeah job well done we have our transmission selector here, so pretty easy to use. You push in for park, you pull up for reverse, in for neutral, up for drive, and then in for L as well. It's kind of like your manual shift function if you guys are wondering. And moving from that, we've got really nice fence here. Look at the padding there, and then it's all over the dash, if you guys are wondering too, with the padding. We've got some analog controls here for the infotainment system, like our home screen button. Analog controls for the climate system. So dual zone climate here uh, for the front. Again, you do have that rear climate heated seats for the front as well. We have a wireless phone charging pad. We got some USBs and a 12 volt, a couple cup holders. And then notice the padding here. And then there is storage pockets here on the side. And then we do have the phone holder here on the center console. And then here's the center console itself. And then we have this little window. I still haven't been able to figure out what this is for. I guess you could throw your wallet in there, but that would be kind of like, it's deep. <laughs> it goes in pretty far, so yeah, it'd be kind of interesting to get it. Wood trim there on top of the dash, pretty cool. And then here's the glove box. And then last but not least, we've got this control up here for the hatch universal garage openers. And then, well, you guys probably can't see much because it's a darker colored headliner. So here's a window sticker for this 2023 Suburban Z71. So you guys can see the warranty information, three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper, five year, 60,000 mile on the powertrain. This is what I'm talking about, premium smooth ride suspension, but it still does have the mechanical limited slip differential and again, two speed transfer case. So between that and the aggressive off-road tires, it's still very, very capable. 
And then here's the rest of the standard equipment. And like I said, this is literally a base model Suburban Z71. There are no options added to this. So 66,000 is the base price. After destination, $67,995 is the total MSRP. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this package. Do you think you need to go for the air suspension and the Magna Ride, or do you think that this is enough? I think in base format, frankly, this is perfect for like 99% of people. The reason that I think that is, first off, it looks amazing. It's got really cool looking wheels. You got the aggressive tires. Again, you've got the aggressive looking front end. So this has the, you know, Z71 looks. So it looks absolutely amazing and it's still very capable off-road, but most people never take this off-road. They just use this as a daily driver and this has all the daily driver stuff you need. Tri-zone climate, heated seats, all that. So yeah, interested to hear what you guys think about it. That's because something's up for our video on this Suburban Z71. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about this. And again, a huge shout out link to the Chevy here in Murray for you. Me some time with the Suburban. Check out them in the description down below. I'll see you.